So one day I really want to do this flying video with Byron, like he's flying like Superman through the sky. Like on the green screen? Yeah, on the green screen. I promise he's going to be flying all over the world. Like, put those arms out, Byron. Come on, Byron, one more time. <laughs> Hey guys, we're here with special guests today, right? And I wanted to show me because I'm going to be behind the camera, but I'm actually here, guys. I think everybody knows who I am. Who are we here with? Me. I'm me. Well, I know everybody knows who you are already, but, but well, just introduce so you yourself don't. to the family. I'm Ava. And I'm Alexis. And who's this little guy? <laughs> the shy The same. He's not going to say anything. We are here with the Baxter family. Ebony. We have Big Byron. Who are you? What's your name? Barney. And Byron, how old are you? Five. Five years old. You're going to be six next month. I'm Christian, and I'm playing with Ace. Ace? Ace is our new dog. My name is Blake. So you guys want to stay over here and play with Ace for a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Byron, looks like you're sweating there, huh? I mean, carrying him is a full-time workout, man. You're talking about the gym. This is the gym right here. He was sweating when I met him, and then I'm realizing he's probably been carrying Byron Jr. It's, it's tons of work. It's hard. It's just a challenge even putting him in a car seat. Some of you may recognize the Baxters. They had a viral video a little while ago. See how small he is compared to you guys? Yeah. So when he's 12, he's still going to be that size? Can he crawl? Well, he crawls in his special little way. Byron has a special way of crawling and he scoots on his back to get wherever he needs to go. go. Slow down a little bit. There's, a, this way to the girls. There's a speed limit in here, buddy. And when he's 12, who knows? He may be walking. Hmm? Or he may be bigger. That's right. Bigaboo. <laughs> If you didn't know, like, he had the disease, it would be kind of silly if you saw him sliding on the floor. Right, so if you didn't know that Byron had a disease called osteogenesis imperfecta, you would not know that that's the way he gets around. Osteogenesis imperfecta. It's a long name. We could call it brittle bone disease. Was he born that way or it's just like he got it? He was born this way. Little Byron was born and he had two broken arms and two broken legs and a fractured rib. He's had over 100 broken bones already. Whoa. That's, That's a lot. lot. His bones have broken in his sleep. So wow. he could be sleeping and then he could roll and break a rib. Yeah, go get it, bro. He's gonna get it. He's determined. like to give our kids a broad education on so many different things and people and circumstances and make them well-rounded people. As Ami said, we like to educate our kids on anyone who's different. If you want to say special needs, educate without being sympathetic. No child wants to feel sorry for anybody with a special need or anybody who's different. They can essentially be way happier than we are. We really want to get to know people and to understand how they're different, how they're unique. And part of that education process is allowing kids to treat everyone the same. What's the worst one, do you know? We know that he has broken his back a couple of times. That might have been the worst one. What happened? So his back, um, it's not straight. It's because it broke a couple of times already. But we never knew when. The doctor said it was in a healing stage. So it's healing? Yes. It's part of the like the healing, the cycle it goes through when it heals? Yes. Mm -hmm. His finger, he's broken it so many times, so we don't know. Um, his arm, next year he's actually going to get rods put in his arm because his arms broke so much that his elbow is right here. So his arm 
it's curved in different spots. So this is the arm that breaks the most. I can see his arm. It's oh. closed. See that? Also, he can't. He can only really bend, bend it. He can't straighten. Yeah, he can't really straighten it. What are those bumps? This is Byron's rib cage. Okay. Yeah, so because Byron hasn't been able to lay on his stomach as a child, he hasn't strengthened his stomach muscles. You know how you crawl as a child? Yeah. Byron hasn't had that. So his rib cage is, is really, really fragile as well. Byron, can I show them your legs? Yes? Okay. Can I say, as a parent, I like the way that you ask permission, that you say, can I do all these things? Because, you know, it's his body. Yeah, right? absolutely. Even though you have to dress him every day, and I'm sure it's a, quite a bit of work to dress him, but you still, you know, make sure he's okay with everything. It's yes. funny, step by step, he's getting naked, like step by step, and then you taking the other thing off. Step yes, by step. his foot isn't straight. You see that? It's yeah. curved. But one day, he's gonna have surgery where he's gonna have straight legs like us. So when did Byron figure out like how he could get around his own? I'm sure he had to think like, okay, I wanna be able to move on my own, not just always have help. I think it was right after his bone infusion, right? Yes, right after a bone infusion. So a bone infusion, is a nine hour procedure that he actually goes through every four months. It strengthens his bones. They put the medicine inside of an IV and just putting a regular needle in him is, is a challenge in itself because any other kid, you know, if you want to give your son a needle, you can just hold him down, yeah. let the doctors give yeah. him a needle. You can't do that with him. It's like chemotherapy for the bones. Gotcha. So after his first one and then his second one, I was like, oh my gosh, is that what I think it is? And he was just like a madness. I was, we, we couldn't even contain our happiness. So here's Christian. He came all the way over here because he wanted to be part of the video. And he said, I want you to ask me one question. And so the question is, what is it like being a big brother to Byron? Well, being a big brother to Byron, I don't consider Byron in my opinion, he's not special needs. Cause every way he acts, talks, and thinks, just like any regular five year old. So like, you know, I can play the game with him. I could talk to him, just like I would talk to Blake or any other five year old. He wants the same needs as a five year old and all the same thing. He's your typical five year old kid that loves to play video games and sing. Right, Byron, what you like, Fortnite? Yep. Are you winning? Is this the one we gotta jump? I'm his iPad! Yeah, Chris Bell. Do you like carry him like the regular way that you carry a regular kid? Uh, I only can hold him like this. Because his neck isn't as strong, I'm actually holding his neck. And how much does he weigh? I'm gonna say 25 pounds. Feels like 50 or But it's, it's a heavy 25. Yes, because it you, is. You can't hold <laughs> him on your shoulder. Carry. I'm always carrying him. Yes. Chris, Chris is coming. So I'm just trying to like figure out how to do this game. Well, look at him. He's clapping. He's ready to go. Byron, what game is this? Dance. That's right, dance. Are you a good dancer? One day I really want to do this flying video with Byron, like he's flying like Superman through the sky. Like on the green screen? Yeah, on the green screen, I promise. He's going to be flying all over the world like... Put those arms out, Byron. Come on, Byron, one more time. Because it looks so high because you are tall. You might not think it, but he's actually a daddy's boy. Everything about him screams daddy. My son will want chips and I'm telling him no more chips and then he'll look at his daddy and he's like, daddy, really? And then here goes my husband giving him more chips. <laughs> but with all the, the ups and the downs, I wouldn't change it for the world. This is my little soldier right here, man. I love you, Byron. Yeah. You love me? Yeah. 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 He'll say, who loves you, dad? Who loves you? Aww.
and my husband will say, you do. And then he'll say, mommy, he'll say, mommy, who loves you the most? Who loves you the most? And I'll say, you do. <laughs> so remember when you said like the doctors, they said he's not going to be able to hear or see? When did he well, see and hear? In this case, the doctors were wrong. Byron has always been able to see and hear. Do you guys know like how rare his condition is? Like is there a number you guys can put on it? Like how how rare is it's really rare. There's several types. Type one being the least severe, type two being deadly, I believe, and type three can range from severe to mild severe. According to the doctors, Byron showcases type three. Saying so basically the severity of his is on the higher level. Yeah. Ava, do you remember a few years ago we did videos with special needs and a lot of that was because yeah. you girls were staring at them because you didn't know. I jumped in here with Ava. Really, all these kids, you might want to say special needs or whatever you want to say, but they want to sing, they want to dance, they want to play games. It's up to us as parents to do a good job in educating our kids and saying, hey, there's nothing to be afraid of. Go over there and have fun, introduce yourself and make a new friend, right? Mm -hmm. And have you made a new friend today with Byron Jr.? Yes. Absolutely. I had a good talk today here with Byron Sr. and I was just like, you go for it. Don't let people on social media say negative things about your family, that you're exploiting your kids or any of that. We had some of that early on, but I said, you plow through and you know that you're making positive content. You're making people feel good. So for those of you who may not know, the Baxters are on social media as well. They have Facebook, Instagram. They're starting their YouTube, getting yes. going again. Mm -hmm. And you know, they're a family brand just like we are. And I'll let them tell a little bit more about what they're doing. We enjoy putting our story out on social media because in doing so, we have inspired many. We get comments from others that we have a bad day that inspires us. Definitely. So we thank you guys for following us, watching us, supporting us, because our main intention is to get our story out there. And to pump out positive energy to everybody all over the world. Absolutely. And we need it right now, this day and age, we yeah. need it. Positive over negative, any day, right Byron? Ooh, that's a good thumbs up. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting us and the Baxters. Please link up with them, follow them on your social media, support them as well. We appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching and make sure you do more videos. Subscribe and show them the more of cases. Thank you for watching.